Leaders is here at FITUR 2013 to bring you the latest thoughts and insight from those leading voices in the tourism sector. Um, the Gambia is, um, is um, a country in West Africa. Uh, population is about 2 million um, and then we have investment opportunities in the area of agriculture. Agriculture is our number one sector that contributes the highest in terms of gross domestic product. We also have tourism investment opportunities in terms of infrastructure, hotels and, and um, other facilities that the tourists are coming to look for because we are a tourist destination but we still need to improve on our infrastructure. And we also have incentives for new investors in the Gambia. We have tax holidays that we give we give duty waivers in terms of all importations for the, for the first five years of your operations. So the investment opportunities are there. Uh, Agro-processing also for agriculture is there. The fishery sector is also very good. So there's a lot that we can offer to our investors coming from outside. I think the developments, we have a long-standing bilateral relations between the Gambia and Spain. And then we have airlines now. Connectivity is no longer a problem. Air Europa flies to the Gambia, direct flight from Madrid. Winter Canary has just started about two weeks ago flying to the Gambia. And I think the reason why they're in the Gambia is because of the conducive environment in doing business and also the fact that when investors come we go out the aviation authorities the tourism authorities we go out there to support them to make it easy for them to fly I would like to say last year, the first time that we have um, more than 100,000 visitors from Spain to Thailand. And uh, during the situation of the economy, situation is slowing down in Europe, but we got the tourists from Spain is increasing about 20% 20, 20 last year uh, compared with the previous year. Because we try to offer Thailand is still value for money destination. But right now, we have more and more visitors who are repeat visitors to Thailand. Now, this, uh, in Europe, we have more than 5 million, 5.6 million visitors from Europe. It's, uh, it's already 65% of them are repeat visitors. Some of them have been to Thailand many, many times. And because they love the Thai people, they love the Thai culture, that should mean that every time you go to Thailand, it will be a mess, or we a mess you. Past 10 years, we have done some development. We have got uh, more than 10,000 uh, rooms in our country, more than that. And uh, we have reached more than 2 um, million dish, uh, what arrival people come into Mozambique. Also, we do have some problems on infrastructure. Like we don't have sometimes road which can we get what we want to go to see how beautiful is our country. And also, uh, the rooms is not enough. The, the hotels, they are, they are not enough. So, what I have to say is a place to you to come, to invest, and I want to, I want to uh, take this opportunity to invite everyone around the world to come to Mozambique. And uh, the policies are very easily, are very clear if you want to develop in our country. The tourism uh, sector is a very, very important sector for Malaysia. It has become the fourth biggest revenue earner, you know, foreign exchange earner for Malaysia. And uh, in fact, uh, last year we had 25 million tourists. 25 million tourists. So, in terms of ranking in Asia, we are second biggest after China, you know. So, after China, we are the second biggest in Asia. And in terms of global ranking, we are number ninth, you know. So, in that uh, sense, Tourism is a very, very important sector for Malaysia. For this year, uh, we are launching what we call uh, promotion for Visit Malaysia Year 2014. So next year is going to be Visit Malaysia Year 2014. So the promotion will start this year, you know, in a big, big way. Uh, this slogan has been around for almost more than 10 years, you know. We introduced this slogan after our Asian financial crisis in 1998. 
and it has become a big success because Malaysia is a, is a micro ASEAN, you know, it's a micro Asia within Malaysia. This is a holistic circle that what it represents, that Ecuador is the summary of the world. You know, we have, we have the Amazon like Brazil, like Peru, like Colombia, no? In Ecuador, beautiful place, but they also have that. We have the snow cave volcanoes, you know, that, like other countries in, in South America. We have beautiful beach like the Caribbean. We have the Indian markets like Mexico, Guatemala. But it is the only country that has everything in just one place. And the, this great biodiversity of Ecuador is, uh, I think, the most important thing. That's why this, uh, this sign reflects all the colors that the sun can reflect and all the colors that the human eye can see. And it's the, the variety of, of the beauty of, of the world that we have in Ecuador. And that's why we say also uh, love life, no? We have a lot of uh, new um, companies that have uh, gone to uh, Ecuador, companies from the United States. We will soon give some very important and big news because we are finishing some arrangements with some of the most important um, hotel companies in the world, very sophisticated, very ecological, that have seen in Ecuador maybe the unknown country that has everything to offer and, uh, offer and has protected the country very much. Uh, so we have uh, investment plans, very important. We have uh, made uh, meetings with people from the, uh, Qatar. Investment from Qatar is very interesting in uh, investing in Ecuador and also our neighbors, Peru, Colombia, South America. So I think we are coming to a new stage of conscious investment. Sometimes it's difficult to think in that because it, uh, that's very important for us. It, it's the ethics, the responsibility and the sustainability. That is the basic part that makes a uh, conscious tourist. We're very optimistic that the tourism sector will grow rapidly in 2013. Uh, tourism is the third most economic uh, sector in Zambia and we're confident that 2013 will see growth even at even a faster rate, especially that it generates employment and creates foreign exchange for the country, Zambia. One of the things that prompted the rebranding was that the previous brand, the Zambia The Real Africa, had been in existence for over 20 years. And also the Real Africa was associated with the bad things, uh, either disease, hunger and so on. So we needed to come up with something more positive. So we went through a rebranding process, which was done in a very interesting way, actually. We did it through social media. So people invited to give comments and uh, contribute to a new brand, and we ended up with the Let's Explore brand, which we currently used and which was launched in April uh, 2011. Because we're expecting growth in the sector, the accommodation sector will, will be one of the priorities in, t in terms of developing growth, uh, infrastructure in our national parks in order to stimulate growth, uh, activity holidays as well, and also even in the aviation sector, because we need to, we need to move people around. So we're also looking for investment in the aviation sector. I'd like to say that Tanzania is one of the uh, blessed countries in the world. We have some of the best wildlife uh, in Africa. We also have, we're proud to have the, mount, the highest mountain in Africa. Um, we also have some of the best beaches, clean, sandy, uh, palm fringed beach, beaches in Africa. And of course, the culture, the people's culture is also something which is a great attraction. Tanzania is a new destination. We have, um, it's, we've only set aside almost 25% of our land for, for um, conserva conservation and wildlife. So there's a lot of land available to build hotels. There's a shortage of, 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 of rooms, uh, hotel rooms in Tanzania. So investors are invited to come and build class, world-class hotels in Tanzania. <music> Well, thank you very much. It's an honor to speak with um, the Voices of Leaders. Um, that's a very fascinating product, and I love to be part of it. 
Thank you very much. Um, basically, the strategy for 2013 is going to be a strategy of getting more tourists to Nigeria. You know, every country of the world today that talks about tourism, talk about the strategy they adopt. And the strategy is mainly the swapped analysis, strength, weaknesses, opportunity, and threat. So Nigeria is now talking more about its strategies in terms of strength and opportunities. The opportunities are bound by the caliber of investors and the kind of investment. But I'd like to tell you today that all the airlines, major airlines in the world, fly into Nigeria. Some of them even run up, up to eight flights, nine flights a week. British Airways, Emirates, KLM, France, Lufthansa, KLM, just name them. They are all flying into Nigeria. Also, all the major hotels from the Radisson Blue, Intercontinental, the Hilton, the Sheraton, the Protea, I can go on and on. They all have chains of hotel in Nigeria. So these are some of the areas we now want to expand in 2013 because we are coming up with a new rail line. The rail line for transportation, you know, tourism works with transportation. So these are some of the strategies we've adopted. But above all, we've adopted another strategy of showcasing and speaking the voice of Nigeria all over the world. So I must thank you, this is another opportunity for us to tell the world that Nigeria is ready to be the most preferred tourism destination in Africa. Ecotourism. We have a lot of massive resorts. We have a lot of museums. When it comes to heritage and cultural tourism, Nigeria is extremely very rich. We also are investing a lot into sports tourism. Yes, we're bringing in a lot of aspects of sport, golf, tourism, and we're also looking at football which we have the highest number of Africans playing football in the European League and Nigerians. Yes, and then entertainment tourism, the highest number of films being produced in the world today. Nigeria is number two. That's another area. So we're going to be check our strength and capitalize on them. So in terms of investment, I can assure you, any investor that comes to Nigeria make a good return in no long distance. So it is a country that is very, very ready to welcome investors and they will have a fantastic returns.